Quasi opened to the public a few months ago to absolutely rave reviews. The last coaster, opening just a year earlier, had that same praise. They are both phenomenal and both battling for my number one spot, but I couldn't help but wonder, which coaster is better and can claim the title of the best coaster in Florida? And today, I'm going to be uncovering the victor. If you want more coaster battles, drop a like so I know them. I will be weighing each category based on how important they are. Let's start off with the queue slash entrance. I will weigh this 5 points since it doesn't matter that much. Velocicoaster bags an easy 5 points. It has its own section of the park for the entrance plaza, and the queue is just so good. Iron Gwazi has a very strong and imposing entrance plaza with two huge signs. The queue is average, so I will award Iron Gwazi with 3.5 points. 5 to 3.5 Velocicoaster. This can make or break a coaster. Or some people say. <laughs> Many people hate Sky Rush for its restraints. <coughs> Sorry, something got stuck in my throat, I think. But I love Sheikra for its airtime allowing restraints. I am weighing restraints 8 points. The Lost Coaster arguably has the best restraints on any coaster. They are basically just cooler clamshells. I am awarding them a perfect 8 points. Iron Gwazi has the normal, annoying RMC lap bars with seatbelts. I legit had bruises from the airtime being so strong with the lap bars crunching the seatbelt on my legs. Or maybe it's just that I wrote it 30 times. <laughs> Three points awarded to Iron Gwazi. The score is 13 to 7.5 Lost Coaster. An elite coaster needs an elite first element, and that is why I am making the first element worth 12. The Lost Coaster has a launch to start the ride. It's not any launch. It's themed very well. It perfectly represents being shot of a raptor cage, and for that, I'm awarding 11 points to Velocicoaster. Iron Gwazi has that classic first drop, and it's phenomenal. It's a clear highlight of the ride, whooping you over it with tremendous speeds in the back, obviously giving very strong ejector. I'm awarding Iron Gwazi a perfect 12 points. The score is now 24 to 19.5 Velocicoaster. The next thing I will talk about is length. I will weigh this with 10 points. I don't know for sure, but I think Velocicoaster has about a minute of prime ride time. Actually, very solid. So, Velocicoaster gets 8 points. Iron Gwazi definitely is lacking for an RMC in this category, with only about 45 seconds of prime ride time. I will give Iron Gwazi 6.5 points. The score is now 32 to 26 Velocicoaster. Pacing is very important too, and great pacing on coasters will hurt prime ride time. I am weighing pacing with 10 points. Velocicoaster has odd pacing, to say the least. It's bad to start because of the theming, but the pacing in the second half bumps it up. I am awarding Velocicoaster with 7.5 points. Iron Gwazi's length is lacking because its pacing is so good. It is absolutely bar none. I am awarding Iron Gwazi with 9.5 points. The score is now 39.5 to 35.5 Velocicoaster. Intensity is pretty important too, so I'll be weighing this category with 10 points. Velocicoaster has some odd maneuvers between the rock work, which are also quite oddly intense. The second half has an intense rolling launch into a tame but exceptional second half. I will award 8 points to Velocicoaster. Iron Gwazi, because of its pacing, is very intense and quite relentless with its airtime and elements, as it has no mid-course. I'm awarding Iron Gwazi with another 9.5 points. This score is now 47.5 to 45 Velocicoaster still on top. Next up is Inversions. Inversions can get repetitive on a coaster like Scream, but can also be used creatively by complementing each other on a coaster like Untamed. I will weigh this with 12 points. Velocicoaster does what I said Untamed does in some of the best ways possible. The Immelman is to regulate the launch speed, the dive loop is to gain some more speed after that, the great and sustained stall gives the ride hang time, and the Mosasaurus roll is the greatest combination of hang time, snappiness, and spectacle all in an inversion. Velocicoaster gets 12 points. Iron Gwazi has good, but not great inversions. It has the 540 degree death roll, which is great, but not the Mosasaurus rule. The stall is inferior to Velocicoasters and that inversion. Yeah, is that oh even an inversion? God, Whatever, oh, that one's tired of The score is now 
59.5 to 54 Velocicoaster. Next up, we have arguably the enthusiast most sought after sensation, airtime. For that, I am weighing airtime with 15 points. Velocicoaster definitely has its moment. The drop after the second launch is quite underrated, honestly, and the random pops of ejector that aren't necessarily hills is unreal. However, the purpose of this ride is in airtime, and that's clear. I'm awarding Velocicoaster with 12 points. Iron Gwazi definitely has the advantage of being an RMC. RMC's main feat is profiling those ejector hills by the demonic man himself. Bruh. The wave turn is definitely the greatest moment I've ever experienced, as when it comes to airtime at least. The double airtime hill finale is just so strong. The outer bank gives the ride flow ejector airtime, and countless other airtime pocks make me, make me give Iron Gwazi a perfect 15 points. The score is now 71.5 to 69 Velocicoaster. The layout of a coaster makes you like a coaster or not, whether you believe it or not. I am weighing this category with 15 points, just like airtime. Velocicoaster is actually so genius. Its first half is slowly paced so the riders can take in the rock work and raptors, and the second half is powered by a rolling launch and drop that have some of the craziest elements on any coaster. I give Velocicoaster a perfect 15 points. Iron Gwazi's layout is genius in a different way. Gwazi has no mid-course, and for an RMC, that's crazy. It's just intense element after intense element, and it doesn't let up at all. That's why I also give Iron Gwazi a perfect 15. No joke, these are my favorite layouts that I've ever experienced, and some of the best out there. I know that for a fact. The score is now 86.5 to 84 Velocicoaster. The last thing I will go over before stats is theming. Theming doesn't matter, it's just a cool cherry on top. I'll weigh this with 6 points. Velocicoaster needs no introduction. Its Q, launch buildup, raptor paddock of a layout, rock work, and animatronics make me give Velocicoaster an easy perfect 6. Aaron Gwazi's theme is, uh not quite existent. I get it, it's themed to a crocodile, but it's a bit lazy when there's nothing like it on the ride. The trains and purple track are the only reasons Iron Gwazi gets a floor, and also Cedar Fair and Six Flags are a thing. The score is now 92.5 to 88 Velocicoaster. Now we have the stat lines. I will give one point for whichever coaster wins the stat. Length, Velocicoaster, Height, Iron Gwazi, Speed, Iron Gwazi, Angle of Descent, Iron Gwazi, Pacing, Iron Gwazi, Inversions, Iron Gwazi, Airtime, Iron Gwazi. The final score comes out to be, drumroll please, 94.5 to 93, Velocicoaster. That ended up being so close. Velocicoaster is still barely my number one overall, and therefore the best coaster in the world. A lot of people think differently. So I would like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Sub for more coaster battles coming soon, and I will see you all later.